Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, we appreciate y'all tuning in tonight. Hang out with us in the garage for a little while. <clears throat> Gonna do a little color match tonight. A customer ours contacted us a few days ago and asked us if we could, uh, if we would do a color match for him in the hammer mode on uh, the Yamamoto Firecrawl. We personally hadn't saw it, so we went went to looking and uh, and found some, and it's basically <clears throat> basically just a two-tone orange laminate, uh, a solid color orange uh, belly with a, a transparent orange top with red and black flake in it. So we're gonna do our best to, to match that tonight shoot it in our hammer molds. Uh, we're gonna shoot him some 2.75 inch and some 4.75 inch in it. See how close we can get it. Uh, all we have is a picture. Uh, we did, we did, we did uh, see some in the store and, and looked at them that way. To, uh, the picture doesn't represent it very well as far as the translucent uh, top <coughs> part of the swim baits. Uh, it's it there's a lot of variations out there of the of the fire crawl <clears throat> we have our own variation of it we'll be doing a video on that here here soon because uh, we shoot crawls in it we shoot worms in it, uh, stick baits a little bit of everything but tonight we're going to do our best to, to color match the yamamoto fire crawls y'all hang out with us we'll get the plastisol cooked up meet you back here whenever we get ready to mix up the color all right, y'all. We got we got one cup of swim bait blend mixed up, cooked up. We're just going to be using the MF Orange Non-Bleed uh, 3305X2 for the belly. We'll also be using this for the for the top as well. Uh, we're just making a little translucent. We'll start off with 40 drops. Uh, shoot a couple baits and see what that gets us. All right, that's 40 drops. You think that'll, the, the belly, it's not at all. It's pretty, pretty well a solid color. Uh, we think 40 drops will probably get us where we need to be there. All right, y'all, we got our top color cooked up. We're going to add, we're going to start off with about 15 drops. We want this to be pretty translucent. I'm going to try to make sure that gives us enough transparency with the 15 drops. <clears throat> we may add more. Get our flake and everything added to it. Fifteen may be too much. Might have should have started with ten, but I think I think fifteen is going to get us where we need to be. Give that a shot and see what. It's got just a little black flake in it uh, from what we looked at at the store there and the, as well as the the photo it has a lot of red flake in it we're going to use we're going to use two different sizes of red flake just to 
just to be a little different. See where this takes us to. And I think we're going to add about five more drops of orange. You want that orange to pop on the top just the same as the bottom. We just need it to be trans a little transparent. I think that's going to get us. We're going to get this back up to temperature, get it in the vacuum chamber. We'll meet you back here and we'll get ready to shoot around. All right, y'all. We got everything brought back up to temperature. Uh, had it in the vacuum chamber, got the bubbles out. Let's shoot around and see what we've got here tonight. I think we're going to be pretty close on the color. We'll let these set up and we'll meet you back here when we're ready to, to take them out of the mold. We'll take a look right fast at the blending block, see what it looks like. Not bad, not bad. We'll see how we look. Y'all hang tight with us. All right, y'all. Hey, we're gonna take these out of the mold and see what we came up with. Give you guys a little look-see here. I hope that's coming through on camera. Pretty good. Just fluorescent lighting. But I hope you guys can kind of see it there. Uh, in person, it is. It is pretty transparent in person. Not sure how well it'll come through on the on the camera. But all in all, pretty pretty close match. Maybe just a little more black flake in it. All right, guys, let's take a look and see what we got. I actually added a little bit more black flake to this run. Let's 
see how it works. Black flake will help separate the laminate a little more, as you can tell. Got just a little more transparency. Just gives it a little more. Where you can tell a little bit more about the the back being a more transparent. Don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but it's actually pretty transparent in person. Because of the smaller bait. Hope it's showing up pretty good on camera. Looks really good in person. This is our first attempt at the Yamamoto fire crawl. Something to work with, start with, uh, to build on. All in all, turned out pretty good. Uh, real, real close to the, the Yamamoto. If you haven't saw that, check it out. Uh, we've got a photo of it on our phone, but it doesn't showcase the transparency of the back uh, the way it is in person. Y'all be sure to check that out. Hey, uh, one more little look see it there. Hey, y'all, just want to take a minute and say thank you uh, for tuning in, watching our videos, subscribing to the channel. Hey, just a little recap on what we used tonight uh, for our version of the Yamamoto Fire Crawl. Um, the MF Orange Non-Bleed uh, 3305X2. That's the orange we use for the belly and the top and the back, the bottom and the top, belly and the back, whichever you want to call it. Uh, 40 drops for the belly per one cup of Plastisol. We went with 20 drops uh, for the back and a one cup of Plastisol. Flakes we used was a .035 from Lure Works in the black hex cut and a .040 in the hex cut Lure Works black. The red flake we used, uh, we on the black we used eighth a teaspoon, started out with an eighth a teaspoon of the .040 uh, shot one run of that, we, we, we decided it needed more black, flat, more black flake in it. So we added a eighth teaspoon of the .035. We really liked the way that looks after we added that. As far as the red that we used, we used the .025 Lure Works in the fire red and the .015 uh, fire red by Lure Works quarter teaspoon of each of those and one cup of Plastisol. That's the recipe we use tonight. You guys take it, tweak on it, uh, make it your own. Uh, it's real close to the uh, Yamamoto's fire crawl. Uh, thank y'all once again for tuning in tonight. Be sure to hit them buttons before you leave out. If you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on our latest videos. Until next time, thanks for watching LCL Outdoors.